different audience this time. Well, let's see how this one turns out. The Flash was released in 2023 and was directed by Andy Muschietti. It tells the story of Barry Allen who wants to go back in time to save his mother, but he messes up with the timeline and bumps into an alternate version of himself and ends up teaming up with Michael Keaton's Batman to save the day. So yesterday, me and Tyke saw The Flash. We went to see it in a different Odeon, Odeon Nace this time, because there's a bus that goes from uh, both of our areas to that Pacific um, area. There's the usual Odeon I go to is Odeon Newbridge. So that's why, it's because I want to test, we want to test out the bus experience to go to this, you know, just see what the bus journey was like. That's why we were in a different Odeon this time. So, uh, we went into The Flash, and I was intrigued to see it. I didn't... The trailers didn't grab me. I thought the trailers looked, yeah, looks okay, looks okay, looks fine. But I've been hearing a lot of people are actually seem to be really liking the movie, and I think that's great. I think I'm really happy to hear how that people are enjoying this movie. And I know a few people they weren't excited for it. I think it's just because of like some controversies around Ezra Miller. But when I saw the movie uh, yesterday, we, me and Ty, uh, we went to see the film yesterday. And when the movie ended, we said this, the film was fucking brutal. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I hated it. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I'm, I, I know I'm probably like the odd one out with this one. I'm so sorry. I really, really didn't like The Flash. And I, yeah, I didn't like it. I honestly thought the film sucked. And I, again, I didn't want to hate it. I went in optimistic, I gave it a chance, and I just was displeased. I disliked the film. I thought my problem with it was the story and the writing. I thought a lot of the film was extremely corny, really cheesy, and really cringy. The storyline, it's very confusing, it's all over the place, the direction, it's messy, it's, it's just, it's all over the place. And it just, again, there was no need to tell a multiverse story for The Flash. I just don't think they should have just told a, a coming-of-age story for The Flash in this film. Because this is, as I'm aware, this is the first movie based on the character of The Flash. They should have just done a coming-of-age story. None of this multiverse stuff. It just, it didn't work. It's not the story I think they should have chosen for this film. I also think it's extremely predictable the way it's about Barry Allen trying to save his mother. But what's the point in telling this story? Because we all know the scares, the problems that happen to a superhero, which later on lead them to become a superhero, are what, are what you know, motivates them to become the superhero they are today. We know how this is going to go. We know at the end things are going to go out the way the main character wanted things to go from the beginning of the film. We know at the end he's going to have to accept the consequences. There's no point trying to tell this story because we know how exactly it's going to go. Again, there is execution and you can have plot twists, but it, there's no point in telling this kind of story anymore. We know exactly how it's going to go. And I'm not saying it's bad because it's predictable. It's just the the writing is just awful. It's so cringy in areas and cheesy. The dialogue is awful. The dialogue is so bad in this film. Now, in fairness, I will give credit where credit is due. There were a few jokes where we actually did laugh at the film. There is a few funny moments that actually are genuinely quite funny. So there is a handful of funny lines of dialogue, which credit where credit is due is a pretty good thing, actually. 
But I just think the story, it's so bad. It's its awful. It really is awful. I'm actually shocked with how bad the story is. And so far, I haven't seen a single bad movie this year. Despite Ant-Man 3 and Shazam 2 being slightly underwhelming, I still thought they were enjoyable enough films. This one's bad. This, I'm sorry, so far is the worst film I've seen all year. So far, I'm... I'm sorry, I really didn't like this film. So yeah, the story, it, it, it sucked. It was so bad. Now, some of the special effects and CGI were fine, but for the most part, oh my god, the CGI is awful. There is so many shots where the CGI is terrible. And I mean terrible. It makes CGI from a lot of old movies, old TV shows, look amazing compared to this and that's that's bad this is 2023 this is a dc film this is a comic book movie which i am pretty sure has a pretty high budget the cgi is shocking and i was appalled at how bad the cgi was like my god the cgi was awful and the characters oh no I really did not like them. I really didn't like the character of Barry Allen. I just found his character arc very poorly written, extremely predictable, and just a very lackluster character overall. I genuinely did not care for any of the other characters, except for Michael Keaton's Batman, who actually did have a great performance, and I actually liked the way his character was written in the story. But other than that, I found the other characters extremely bland, one-dimensional, and very forgettable. So yeah, the characters, apart from Michael Keaton, just bad. And the performances, for the most part, while they are decent, I honestly thought Ezra Miller in the beginning was... I found his performance annoying. I don't know what it was, but there was just something about his performance I just found really annoying. He got better throughout the movie, but I just felt some performances in the start were just... I don't know, there was just something annoying about them. Then there's the music, which is actually pretty good. Yes, actually, I will give credit where credit is due. The music is actually pretty good. There's some good soundtrack in the film. A lot of the music really does suit the scenes, especially in the action. And in fairness, there is some enjoyable action scenes in the film. That's another positive. So there is a few merit in this film, like the music is good. There's some decent action and there is one or two. There is a handful of funny jokes. Other than that, I thought this film was shite. Overall, The Flash, in my opinion, I'm sorry, it sucked. It had a really dumb and corny storyline, mixed bag of special effects, and very poorly written characters. But hey, the music was pretty good, so that's something. I'm going to give The Flash a 4 out of 10. Yeah, it's a 4 out of 10. I'm, I'm really sorry. I know a lot of people are really liking this movie. And again, that's great. That's fantastic. I respect that, but for me personally, I just, I just thought it sucked. I really did not like it. And again, I didn't want to hate it. I gave it a chance. I went in optimistic and I just thought it sucked. I just really, really did not like this film. I strongly disliked it. And to be honest with you, my thoughts are even starting to decline the more I think about it. But maybe if I was to give it a second chance, maybe my thoughts could improve. Maybe I'll like it more on a rewatch, but we'll see. But as of now, I did not like this film at all. So, uh, stay tuned for my next video then. Uh, until then, everyone, take care, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. What do you guys think of The Flash? Did you like it? Did you hate it? And until then, guys, take care. Hope you guys are having a great summer. And skidoosh.